All right. One, two, three, clap. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the first ever podcast of Lost and Lazy. Uh, we are a... I don't even know what kind of podcast we are yet, but we talk we're about nerd lazy. shit. Yeah, we talk. We're lost and lazy on nerd shit. Uh, I am Josh, aka Tired Sandwich, one of your hosts, and I'll let everybody else talk about themselves. I am Grandmaster Bran, also known as Bran. Um, I'm here with Sandwich, and that's me. I am Adam Bomsky, also known as Adam, if you couldn't tell, and uh, just love gaming with my friends and chilling, so that's why I'm here. And I'm Waffle Man, known as Sean, and yeah, just going to be some fun and idiotic stuff going on here. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, so yeah, that's everybody. Um, I will say this is the weirdest way to record with audacity. Anybody else feel weird <laughs> about it? Am I the only one? It is kind of weird, but... Yeah. I might try other things, see if there's something else that we can figure out for it. Um, so but to... we've used it before and we know it worked. Yeah, it so. did. Uh, so, today, we are going to go through our top most waited for most excited for movies of 2024 and video games and or anime and just talk a little bit about what we're doing what games we're playing what we've been playing and hanging out and doing that was a lot of weird things for me to say right there <laughs> but yeah um so yeah let's who wants to who wants to start off the the stuff are we starting with games or like what category? Uh, what do you guys want to start with? Let's let's start games first. I think it's a pretty yeah. solid place to start. Yeah. All right, we're gonna start with games. Let's start with the first. We'll each go like one game at a time, and I'll just ask you guys which games. So your first game, go ahead, waffle. My first game that I'm most anticipating would probably be Nightingale, open world survival game yeah not really victorian era i guess mm -hmm. with like trolls and giants seems like a game that could have like big comedic comedy where like we're trying to all play together and shit just starts getting destroyed out of nowhere by a giant yeah it's very that steampunk you get yeah, that and you get to fly around with an umbrella. So who doesn't <laughs> want to be Mary Poppins? Mary Poppins yeah. yeah. I saw that and I was like, this is the game I'm gonna be playing quite a bit of. <laughs> yeah, no, it looks it looks like an excellent game. Even I'm kind of excited for it, and I don't like those kind of games. So Alright, let's give it to Adam. Alright, my top one that I picked was The Last of Us Part 2. I am super stoked for that one. Um, I was very big into Last of Us uh, when it originally came out on PlayStation 4. I played the crap out of it. Um, couldn't stop playing it, honestly. It was one of the best stories that I'd ever played at the time. But um, The Last of Us Part 2 remaster is going to be pretty dope, I feel like. I just love those zombie games. They're my favorite in my opinion yeah i enjoyed last of us uh one and two mm -hmm. uh i don't know if i'll get the remaster simply because i don't know if i feel like it needed a remaster but i am interested to see what they put in the commentary stuff in the remaster and the maps that they or not maps but like the areas they took out and put in there look super interesting right i was really excited because uh, they talked about bringing back the multiplayer again. And I was super excited about that. Especially uh, with the first one. I was really addicted to that when it first came out. Um, but uh, I don't know exactly if they're going to bring the multiplayer or not. I know they've, they've talked about it. But if they do, I think that would be something fun to, to play with everybody. Yeah. 
And I know you're not we'll a multiplayer about, type we'll, of guy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it later. No, I just know that... Uh, sorry to tell you this, Adam. They are not doing the multiplayer. Oh, they're not? Um, no. No, they took it out because they decided that that's not what their studio's about. Sad. And that they are a single-player studio. They did put in a roguelite mode oh, okay. into The Last of Us 2. But uh they decided that it was too much effort and too much would take away from what their future endeavors would be if they became a multiplayer studio would take over everything it would and i i agree but i mean still a single player game i think it would be fun yeah no it it i mean it's gonna be good (laughs) all right now bran oh i didn't do mine in order of excitement or like my top one you know oh you don't have to do them in order but i have nightingale on my list also but i'm also really excited or excited for arc two she's really excited (laughs) (laughs) she really excited it's it's because i'm talking and i hear myself in the headset and it's weird kind of weird yeah Yeah. but i love the art series the one game so far (laughs) <laughs> the series of one <laughs> it's the best series ever so you know that you could well no i guess i don't know actually i know what i can do oh. no it's me i got it i can mute you so you can't hear your voice in my mic oh does it still record yeah um yeah so my one of mine i don't i didn't put them in number ones or whatever one of mine is also Dragon's Dogma 2, which is also Silver's, one of his most excited, or Matt, he's not here right now, he had to go eat dinner, but, um, which you didn't talk about him at all. Nope, <laughs> left him out. That's what I'm Just doing right there. Right, that's what I'm doing Introduction. Right that's what I'm Eight doing Eight minutes right in. Now. Yeah. <laughs> It's only <laughs> seven minutes in, okay? It's only seven minutes in. He's here at the beginning. Yeah, he's going to come in later, but, you know, his ass decided he wanted to eat dinner instead of be with us, so... He was hungry. He was hungry. Hungry. Um, so, Dragon's Dogma, I didn't beat the first one. I plan on going back and beating it uh, before Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out, hopefully. But uh, it definitely looks exciting, though I wish it was going to be multiplayer, and it's not. And I think that that's, I wish, I wish that it was. So, but that's one of mine and, and Matt's, he will be here next time. All right, back to Waffle. Oh. Uh, one I'm excited for, and I honestly haven't played it in a long time. And kind of because it gets kind of stale but they're bringing my boy back is the destiny 2 final shape nice. they're bringing Cade back and you know i'm ready to get back into it i hope they do it right that game me it, too that game is hard for me to trust especially yep. especially with uh destiny like well when they did destiny one it was good and then i feel like destiny 2 just kind of like went downhill a, a little bit, and then I, I saw that they were bringing Cade back, and I, I got pretty excited for that one, too. Yeah. My kid's named after that. Oh, that's awesome. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the fact that he's coming back is right. quite exciting. Yeah, they kind of have to... Uh, they kind of have to be good this time, because I know I'm pretty sure that they had to lay off... Or no, they said that they're going to have to lay off people if this next one doesn't do good, because the last dlc or whatever uh, um not dlc what would it be called dlc or expansion expansion the last expansion didn't do well enough by their standards and it really put them in a you know between a rock and a hard place from what i heard um but we'll see yeah. i i think it's gonna i think it looks cool i'm glad they pushed it back. back yeah pretty sure it's supposed to come out next month but they pushed it to like june yeah, I think, uh, what was the last one called? Lightbringer or something like that? I can't remember. I haven't really kept up with it. There was Lightfall. Yeah, Lightfall. Lightfall. I heard that one really did not do well with the Destiny after that. community. Maybe. I don't remember. I have all of them. Yeah.
Yeah, I don't know. No, Light, Lightfall was the last one. Yeah, so that one I heard really under, under like, it didn't do Sold. well with people. Undersold yeah. and and the <clears throat> community was real upset at it. They lost a lot of people from what I heard in the community. But hopefully the new one with Kate Six coming back will bring new uh, new life to the franchise franchise universe right. whatever you want to call it yeah i mean if it's good it, it it may bring people back that don't play it anymore like me you know i mean hopefully hopefully yeah. they do it right that's all i'm hoping for yeah i mean you did play all through all of lords of the fallen i heard that was terrible too bro i beat that game in like two weeks <laughs> it was addicting once you once you got into it yeah eventually i want to try it with a uh, waffle we still oh, got to beat sure. a remnant too. I beat that one as well. Yeah, I beat I beat it. We just haven't beat it together. Oh, yeah, gotcha. we just haven't beat it together. You it's one of the, it's, it's, it's addicting. Oh, it definitely. Well, he knew he knew I was playing by myself. I know. Yeah, doesn't. yeah, I was busy. <laughs> you were playing by yourself. I would like I'd be like just at work scrolling through like YouTube videos and remnant come up and be like, man, I'm gonna go home and play that. And I just <laughs> for hours. I'm like, oh yes. Yeah, I was busy recording other things. Yeah. All right. Being cool. I'm not cool, but thank you. Adam, <laughs> cool. your turn. All right, my next one on the list um, was Skull and Bones. Um, I'm very, like, I'm excited for it, but I'm also hesitant just because it's Ubisoft. Um, but I'm very, I'm looking forward to it, honestly, in terms of it hoping to be sort of like, uh oh goodness. black flag black flag yeah exactly um but better <laughs> so i i mean that was one of my favorite assassin's creed too um i'm just hoping it i'm just hoping it it rocks rocks our socks off because ubisoft has a you know how ubisoft is that's just the way that's just the way they are yeah as long as they stick with the ship combat that they did in black flag Mm -hmm. which for those of you that don't know what that is it's assassin's creed black flag and if anybody asks me to play an assassin's creed game again i will don't even do it you and sean are famous for it you should play the assassin's the entire creed series games. no the whole series it's been no. a while no it's been a while no. and you might as well start with start with mirage because it... yeah you might as well start myth. <laughs> you might as well start myth hearing yeah. myself twice okay then mute yourself on there maybe that's well it did no i'm i hear myself oh, i hear okay. myself in the headset that's so weird um i was gonna put that one on there but you know that game got announced what in 2016 17 yep. yeah and it's just so long it's got me kind of worried yeah that's why i'm like i am excited for it but i'm also like taking a step back and looking at it like okay it might suck, yeah. but it might be a, a home run. So. Could turn out to be the you know the next a day right or whatever the the day after. <laughs> oh, exactly, yeah. Day on shutdown day after. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, that one's uh that one's an entry. I got I actually got a news article about that later. Um, about what later? The day after. Oh. Um. All right. Now, Bran. Oh, another game. <laughs> Uh, it's Greedfall 2, The Dying World. I kind, of, I kind of need to replay the first one now before that one comes out. But I'm looking forward to the story. I think it's supposed to be a prequel to the first game. Um, which is fine. I'm kind of sad. I would rather the story continue instead of going back. But it'll be fun. Yeah. No, it's a good game. Greedfall was a lot of fun when it came out. I don't know if either one of you know what that game is. I never got out of the city. Oh, <laughs> I've never played it, so I have no idea. I, yeah. I, I played it. I think it was like an hour, but I never got out of the city. I had no idea what was going on. Yeah, I remember that. Like it, it had a lot of cool monsters in it that I had never seen, like that weren't even similar to like other games and stuff. Yeah, it was it's kind like of like a Souls-like game, yeah. Yeah, um, a little bit. 
like where some you of find the combat like big stuff, monsters. Yeah, yeah. Some of the combat stuff runs like dungeons <laughs> and and souls light, but um, there are like story quests and side quests for. And you have a stuff. gun and or yeah, magic. Was well, kind of like mm-hmm. a blunderbuss gun. Yeah, more like yeah. Bloodborne. I don't yeah, know. I, don't know I never played, played Bloodborne, so <laughs> it's it's so we're such like... we're such gamers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> never heard of that one. <laughs> yep, we uh we're we're pro gamers here, pro pros, right? Pro. We're pro gamers. Pro um, yeah. at Ark. <laughs> I'm not interested. In I'm Ark. good at I'm good at that game. I I got into it and died instantly. Yeah, you literally didn't you crap yourself and you couldn't find out how to make a fire and then you died? I couldn't figure out how to do anything because oh, every time yeah. i spawned in there was someone there to kill me <laughs> literally literally i was living with sean at the time when he played this game i was sitting behind him while he played it and he's like dude how do i make a fire I'm like i don't know how do you make a fire <laughs> and then he died and we're like okay was, this game's done this game's it was done. literally they did like a free weekend we went up to that video game place that you used to go to and they, they were playing like a new dlc on like their screen i was like yo that game looks kind of cool i hated it absolutely <laughs> hated it hated hated the fact that i downloaded it i felt like such an idiot and that's literally like with like seven days and everything i didn't want to play that because it was like the open world survival craft i was like i suck at this i have no idea what's going on yeah but now but, you love it gave in and i actually play quite a bit of open world survival games now yep Heck yeah. yeah. some of the forest is finally getting fully released too that would be cool that would be cool finally it's like on its year no. anniversary they're finally full releasing it yeah <laughs> all right now i guess it's my turn uh so i'm gonna do this one because i know uh sean is gonna have his two cents in it final fantasy 7 rebirth I am super excited for this game. I never beat the original Final Fantasy VII. Um, I've tried to go back, and I just can't do it. So I'm going to play through this one and see how it is. I played the first part. Um, I didn't play the uh, DLC that came out, but I probably will play it this year before Final F- before I play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And it's looking like it's going to be a cool game, and the original creators with it and is gonna do the i think the original storyline of what he wanted so we'll see where it goes but i know sean is not happy about it it's just how it's being released it pisses me off that's the biggest thing it's like oh we're gonna release four games in four years and it's like now it's what three or they're finally just doing two but I don't this know. one's got two disc in it <laughs> which also doesn't make sense no yeah, yeah no i get you and what doesn't make sense <laughs> to me is sony keeping it behind a ps5 wall when it would make yeah. so much mo- more money if they put it on pc and ps5 like i don't i don't understand why they do that like all their games that they have um perfect example like spider-man 2 spider-man 2 why is it not on pc already if they would have sold twice as many copies it's yeah. just some of their stuff just does not make sense. But I'm still excited for the game. Yeah. I'll I'll get it when they finally release the entire thing. And then maybe then I'll take a look at it. And then I'll get a bunch of text messages saying, man, this thing <laughs> sucks. <laughs> Probably. Well, back to you, Waffle. We got back a more? Me. Or is there... Yeah, I got more. Okay. I got a couple um this one's kind of a dead by daylight i guess but the killer clowns from outer space video game that one does look like a lot of fun huge fan of killer clowns had my five-year-old son watch it for halloween he loves it so he keeps asking me if i have the game yet i'm like it's not out buddy (laughs) like i will let you know when you can play clowns (laughs) That's pretty cool. You're talking I'll, shit. I'll, I'll no, Sean, Sean, you're just, you're recording on Audacity, right? Yeah, I'm recording okay. on Audacity. Yeah, she's like, she like stopped it. And she's like, 
is does he knows he's supposed to record i'm like yeah i'm pretty sure i told him i know <laughs> what i've heard but yeah I remember we went here. one two three clap yeah Wait. we did the one two oh, three okay, clap. Okay, okay. <laughs> she's like confusing me i'm like here like mate like looking at stuff and she's like she's talk she's talking shit she's like that kid's an idiot he's not recording is he <laughs> <laughs> he's such an idiot he's exactly. over here talking about his top games just not recording he doesn't really want to be part of the podcast there's gonna be these weird silent moments Sorry. <laughs> yeah no that game looks cool and i i uh, thought it was supposed to come out last year but no it's this year i'm sure i'm sure it's gonna be fun but it'll be just like jason just like dead by daylight yeah. and i would probably be over it within the first five minutes the only one that we've ever played long was jason or friday the 13th and that's because we had a big enough group of friends that we could just screw around we never played with random people it was just our group of friends screwing around hiding in bushes you better hope that it's not like friday the 13th because that shit got shut down real quick that's because they don't know who's got the rights to mm -hmm. jason Borge. yeah i do and that's just gonna be a battle that's gonna be going on for who knows how long apparently brand does i wish they figured it out because that game was yeah. a lot of fun yeah no. it was fun it had some really weird concepts like yeah Jason was like a dolphin in the water, <laughs> yeah. even though he's not. He's supposed to be afraid of water, but he's a fucking speedboat. <laughs> You're like, wait, what? Yeah. No, it was a good game. That was a lot of fun when it first came out. And I'm hoping the game does good enough to where Netflix or someone picks up a series because the original guys have been trying to make a number two or a series for the longest time. It would be cool if they made a series of it, especially nowadays. Mm -hmm. even like going back and explaining more of the clowns because they named every single clown in the movie yeah it's been a while since i watched it but it is a good movie yeah fun fact the some of the masks that were used in that for the clowns were actually used for Ernest scared stupid oh nice that's, cool. that's pretty cool that was a good movie too probably not now if i watched it again but no it's still good it holds up okay nice all of his movies hold up they're so funny nice all right adam how you got more i got one more this is okay. probably my most anticipated game this year and it's just because of the nostalgia of when i was little but ea sports college football man i know you guys aren't big into like sports and stuff like that <laughs> but dude let me tell you if it comes out this year, I will literally call off work to play that game. <laughs> I will have no life playing that game. Um, right on. If Adam's work is listening, he didn't yeah. just say that. <laughs> well, I doubt they'll listen, but um, if they are, they'll. I'll just call a little PTO day. Never hurt nobody, you know? Sometimes you wake up with the sniffles. That's right. Unexpectedly. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, not a whole lot, as in, like, I just, there's not a newer version of college football out for anything like PC, PlayStation, anything, PlayStation 5, anything like that. You have to play, like, older consoles to play that stuff, so super excited for it. Yeah, I don't know anything about uh, football or anything <laughs> like that. I know about a safety I do I do have a football team, but I don't really follow them, but I don't know much about football. You have a football team? Yes, I have a football team. What does that mean? Like he has that I root for. for. Root for. Oh who? The Vikings. Oh. See that's NFL oh, that's, though, so that's not college. Yeah, that's that's why he doesn't follow. Yeah. Yeah. No, they did pretty <laughs> bad for the couple years I actually did follow. Um <laughs> All right, I guess that's back to me now. What was my last? Oh yeah, Final Fantasy was my last one. Um, another one. You're skipping Bran. Oh wait, it's Bran. Bran. Had no um, more. So, yeah, no Bran. Oh no, Man. I only have one more. Okay, sure that's good. Go. go. So my last one. Then we'll skip you. Is, <laughs> it's killing floor three, and I just you shoot you shoot enemies monsters, and you run around and shank them. Yeah. Shit. Cool. She really likes Killing Floor. Fuck Killing Floor. It's a game that kills time for me. I li I like the I like the the soundtrack in the game too. Yeah, the soundtracks are good. Um, the new bosses look incredible. 
with the animation. And uh, so I'm excited. Yeah, somebody got me that game and I was never able to play it because it will not work on my PC. I think we got you the second one. I've never played the first one, I don't think. No, Maybe I did a little bit. Neither one of them worked, second or first. Oh. It did a weird thing, and so I tried to do it. I had it on uh, Epic, and I tried to play it on there, and some weird, download this, and then you can play. Download this, and then you can play just over and over again. The second one looks so old, though. Like, when I go back and look at it, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, it is old. I know. They are. It's as old as you. It's old as us. Yeah. Is it really? Probably. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Um. Yeah. Killing floor three. So I have three more, and my next one is Black <clears throat> Myth Wukong, which is a Souls-like where you play as Wukong. Um. Well. I, not really you play as a monkey king basically and you go through enemies and through a world of myths and legends based around that and it looks like it's going to be really cool it could be really bad i'm not very sure but i'm excited to play it uh, i'm probably going to play it on my ps5 when it comes out and it's i don't know exactly what day it's supposed to come out but sometime this year what like time setting is it set in? Because I, I haven't seen anything about that. It's not it's not set in a time setting. Uh, it's just like its own thing. Because everything, everything's an anthrop, am, what's the word? Anthropologic. An yeah, like animals. They're all animals. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's it's the Birds. story seems <laughs> like it's gonna be. <laughs> uh, part of Wukong is trying to get back to the original form while saving the land from some disaster, is what it seems like. I could be totally wrong. I've only seen a couple commercials for it, but it's... It looks cool. Yeah, it looks say, pretty anything awesome. Anything like Souls, like, I think I'd be a fan of, so I might give that a try for sure this year. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's pretty... It looks like it's going to be pretty good. Waffle, you got any more? Yeah. Nope. Uh, the other one, not really into roguelites, but I really had fun playing this game, even though it was, you know, hard and I'm not very good at it, but Hades 2. Oh, yeah. Hades was good. Yeah. Actually, I had a lot of fun playing it. Don't really care for the roguelite, but it was kept me interested long enough to actually beat it and have a good time doing it. Yeah, and like the actually interacting with like different gods and stuff was actually really interesting. Yeah, I just wonder if the if Hades two is going to be a prequel or if it's a sequel to Hades one. Yes. Nice. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I didn't look that, yes. that much into it. I don't, I don't yes. know about any of these. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not familiar with it either. Gamers. I can't shoot somebody in it. We're all gamers here. Don't don't That's let right. it, don't let it get twisted. Gamers, we know every game. Yeah. Okay. So am I the name a game? <laughs> am I the <laughs> am I the only one who has stuff left then for games? Yeah. I have I have one more. You have one more. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so my next one uh, would be Alone in the Dark. <laughs> which is a horror game coming out. The guy from Stranger Things, I don't remember his name, is going to be one of the characters. And it looks amazing. I played the demo for it. You, it's actually on my YouTube. And that <coughs> game looks like it's going to be so much fun. So, You're talking about the that, police officer from Stranger Things? Yeah, he's, oh, the, okay. he's the main character. Or he's one of the main characters. And he plays a police officer, a detective in it. Yeah. yeah, Harper. That's um, cool. Yeah, it looks, it looks super cool. So I am super excited for it and can't wait for it to come out. I think it comes out in like March or something. We'll see. I probably should have put the dates. I'm a total gamer, guys. Don't, <laughs> don't get it twisted. Dates <laughs> never matter because they always get pushed. 
Yeah. So you could say, oh, it comes out tomorrow, and then tomorrow comes, and it's like, oh, we pushed it three weeks. What does matter or, is what it's being released on. a year. On. Yeah, it does. There's a lot of, yeah. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, Sean. So my last one is it kind of looks like a game like uh, High on Life. Probably won't be as funny because of, you know, whatever, but it's called Angry Foot. It's a first-person shooter where you just kick everything. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like it. You kick yeah. everything? Yeah, you have a destructive leg. Oh, nice. I've never even yep. heard of it. I haven't either. You have an angry foot. Okay. Me neither. Haven't heard of it until I was looking through stuff that we had to <laughs> say, and I saw it, and I was like, this looks interesting. <laughs> When's this supposed nice. to come out? Uh, Release date is TBD. Gotcha. Oh, to be announced, yeah. So yeah, it's it in could... two thousand. It's in the two thousand four list or two thousand four. Wow, twenty twenty four. But it doesn't have anything. It just looks funny. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Yeah, I didn't go through the to be announced ones just because you never know they're gonna be twenty twenty four. But since, I mean, it's on that right. list, so I can put it on my twenty twenty five list next year. Yeah, twenty twenty five. If we make it that long, seems like it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Um, so my last one is one I'm super excited for. This is actually probably the one I'm most excited for, and that is Banisher's Ghost of New Eden. Um, in this game, you're going to play as a husband and wife, and the husband is the only one actually alive. Um, he is a banisher of ghost, or his wife was originally, and he kind of took on her, uh, job when she died doing it. And now he has to banish ghosts to either bring back his wife or save the world, kind of. So it's going to be a very interesting, like, what choice are you going to make? Sounds awesome. Yeah. Very cool. I'm hoping it comes to Xbox Game Pass. I think more and more stuff are coming to that. Yeah, I know. What was the game I, uh, that uh, came to the? It came to Express Game Pass, and then it was awful. It was, uh, oh, Redfall. Redfall. Red, yeah, Redfall. Yep. I had so much fun playing that game. I couldn't yeah, play me, it. I was. Oh, it was. It was me ass. and Sean. <laughs> me and Sean both played it. Um, I didn't see videos of like, like people were like, "Oh, vampires aren't doing anything to me." I'm like, "I wish the vampires weren't doing anything to me. They keep <laughs> wrecking me." Right. Yeah, it seems like a lot of times, like me, Sean, and even Brandy, we don't get a whole lot of uh, bugs. Because like when we, when me and Brand played Cyberpunk, when it first came out, we didn't get any bugs, and like everybody was talking crap oh. about the game and how they had all these bugs. I didn't have any. I did. The entire that's, time I played I could, it. It was like unplayable. That's why we never played it anymore. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. It was a really good, good really good game. Yeah, the videos yeah. I saw like on youtube and everything else it looked awesome mm -hmm. i restarted it not too long ago cool. yeah <coughs> like i do with every game i play yeah <laughs> the five games you play over the and over again play over and over again yeah um i only do that with divinity too i've beaten that game like seven times yeah you got off the boat yeah yep Got off the boat, talked to the people in town, and got back on the boat. It's a great game. <laughs> There's only like half a map. We're totally gamers, though. Right. Yeah. Hundred percent. I just, I just have gamer friends who I don't like my character. Let's restart. I'm like, oh, okay. God. I apologize for that. Okay. Okay. Oh, somehow the the save got deleted. Let's Josh restart. And I never. The save did the get deleted. Campaigns of Baldur's Gate that we started. Because he couldn't choose a character. Yeah, but I beat Baldur's Gate twice On in one year. Good job. And no, by myself and then with Matt. Good job. Who is not here, but Good he's job. here in spirit. And he's got another game going with me. Yeah. And Actually, a game going games. with me. Yeah. I got a lot of stuff going on, okay? Um, busy diving. Yeah, Dave the Diver. I'll talk about that later. <laughs> Um. <coughs> so now we're gonna move over to movies. Yes, please. Who wants to go first on movies? We can keep it in the same order. 
All right, Waffle, go ahead. Uh, in no particular order. Um, Sonic 3. I didn't even know kind that was coming for out that. this year. Yeah, I, cool. I, I don't know if it's coming out. It's on the two. It's on you know the twenty twenty four list, but yeah, yeah. I have a couple like that that are unconfirmed releases. Yeah, I'm gonna just say it's confirmed because my kid be. loves the first two Sonic movies. So I, that's the best part of having a kid. You get to go see all the stuff you probably shouldn't see, but you know. But you got a kid to go do it with. You know? Yeah, he wants to go see Paw Patrol, and I want to go see it too with him. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> okay. He's invested. He's invested. He needs to know what's going to happen next with the Paw Patrol. Uh, yeah. They're super now. Oh, okay. They're mighty pups. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Adam, hey, go ahead. If you want to watch it, it's on Voodoo. Yeah, you I see. Can, I, you I you saw and Bran can catch up. <laughs> yeah, I saw exactly. It. Talking trash. He's probably already watching. Yeah. <laughs> I did not watch it. Yeah. I'm good on Paw Patrol. Seen a little mm-hmm. bit here and there. Oh. Oh, that was just it's fine. Well, it's not. She can't hear now, yeah, I guess. Come back in. There she's back. It's just cuz I'm muted. Yeah, she's Yeah. But I'm here. All right, Adam Go ahead. All right, yeah, no in particular order for me on these because all of them are I'm excited for. But Deadpool three, I think, is gonna be very interesting. Um, yeah, I just love Ryan Reynolds. I mean, anything he's in, I love. Um, and their little bromance is amazing. Exactly, yeah, yeah. But um, I'm definitely definitely looking forward to that one. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm in. I'm, I think my two favorite genres are probably horror and comedy, is what I would go for. So definitely Deadpool three is one I'm looking forward to the most. Yeah, the the movie looks like it's probably going to be good. I mean, we got to be thankful for Ryan Reynolds for one thing. The only reason why, um, what's his name? Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman is coming back as Wolverine is because of right. Ryan Reynolds. Exactly. There's there's no way that he would come back for a studio. So that's really cool that they have that friendship. Yep. Your turn. Okay. Uh let's let me look at my list. Oh, Dune Part Two is coming out March first. I'm very excited. Um, it's going to be a long series, isn't it? If they do every one from the book, yeah. He never finished the books. I think his <laughs> son went and f- and finished more of them. Um, but yeah, she was very uh, upset when we got to the end of Dune 1. Yeah. So I didn't know it was a series. I had never even heard of the books or anything. And we got to the end of the movie. And I was like, this is awful. I was like, this is the worst. Like, nothing happened. <laughs> like, they didn't finish any plot lines. Nothing. And then I, then I discovered that it was, it was only actually part one. Right. It was actually part one, but I had no idea. So at first, I was like, I really hated it until Josh explained it to me. Yeah, Dune is also on my list, so I'll have one less movie. Uh, I Good. just kidding. Yeah, I loved. Uh, I read a little bit of the books, and it seems like Dune was following the books pretty closely. I'm sure there's some stuff that's off. I also watched the 1980s Dune, which was horrifically funny. Um, I think it's the 80s. It may have been the 70s. I'm I'm pretty sure it's the 80s, though. Um, But yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good movie. And she is looking something up. Um, yeah, so still here. my turn, I guess. So my first movie that I am excited for is Lisa Frankenstein, which looks like an interesting uh, horror comedy about a girl who basically raises a, uh, 
a dead body to be her boyfriend, and then they go on a killing spree together. But I don't know why. So it looks like it's going to be funny and interesting. Cole Sprouse is in it, I think. Cool. And, uh, yeah. Looks very fun. Yeah, it does. Back to Waffle. Mm. Next one I'm interested in would be Twisters, which is supposed to come out July 19, and it's supposed to be a prequel of Twister. Why would there be a prequel to Twister? Why would there not be? I need more flying cows. That's what I'm saying. I love Twister, man. Like, like there, there's nothing more interesting than flying cows and surviving with a leather belt in a tornado or a twister i guess but that movie came out so yeah no no i could see it i could see it it looks 1996 and you know (laughs) almost (laughs) yeah before bran was born i think that was before i was born for sure back in my day we had these cool movies about twisters (laughs) back in my day We had a movie about a guy who survived by holding on to a belt hey, in a there twister. Was some flying cows. <laughs> yeah. That's what y'all sound like right now. They they had these things called drive-in movie theaters where they were watching The Shining. <laughs> yep. Shining, good movie too. Um, we're movie professionals too, guys. Not just right. gamers, but movie yeah. professionals like. Never no, movie actually, I'm not going to say that because I feel like movie <laughs> professionals are snobs and can't enjoy movies anymore. So I'm not a movie professional. Nope. Um, Just a professional. You can put whatever you like in front of it. I'll be a professional of everything. If okay. I have to. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um. All right, Adam. My next one on the list is Inside Out 2. I think they did a magnificent job on the first one. Um, we actually watched that on our senior trip. All of us guys walking into a movie theater with five-year-olds and crying at the end and leaving. And uh, I don't know. I just think I'm really excited for Inside Out 2. It looks good. It's going to be a, yeah. a tearjerker, I feel like, again. <laughs> I love it. My... My list just keeps getting shorter every time he talks. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll probably end up watching that with you guys, but uh, I did not like that movie. What? I do not like the main actress in that movie. Her voice annoys me. I love how they release new emotions for the new movie. <laughs> yeah. Like when they, were, when they told they were making it in the trailers, they just released... It showed the new emotions. Yeah. What they look like. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'll watch it with you guys, but I, when I originally watched that, I, the voice annoyed me way too much. I'll tell you, the lead, the one of the, the lead character is a little annoying, but my favorite character of all in the, in the movie was Bing Bong. He was my dog. Bing Bong. And then he went and had to die, and I cried like a little four year old girl. <laughs> Spoiler if nobody sees it inside out. But, yeah. yeah. Yeah, should have put a spoiler right there. Yeah. We're movie professionals, okay? That's right. Oh, wait, no, we're not. Never mind. I uh, am. I don't know about y'all. Okay, Bran is a movie professional. The one who probably watches less movies than all of us. Yep. But she watches them to enjoy them. Yeah. yeah. It's a 10. That's why they're 10. <laughs> yeah, everything's a 10. Everything is a 10 if you watch the right movie. Yeah, to enjoy it. Speaking of right movies, what's your next one? My next one comes out October sixth. This is Craven the Hunter. I think Marvel is making it. Is making it? Yeah. Um. Or Sony? It might be Sony. I think it's Sony. It could be yeah. Sony. Um. I have not seen the trailer for it. I have. So I don't even know what I'm getting myself into. It looks pretty wild. I just saw the picture and I read a little bit about it. And I was like, this is a 10. 
out of ten. So you saw sure. the half naked man sitting on a throne. <laughs> <laughs> this no. is gonna be a great movie. <laughs> no, she saw that it's gonna be an action movie and probably all action, no sense, and that's why. Yeah, because I don't have to think when I watch it. I don't even know what's gonna happen, but I already know that it's a great movie. And I can tell you I've seen the trailer and it's gonna be a lot of action. Is yeah. it gonna be a ten out of ten? Probably for you. <laughs> but that one doesn't come out until October, I think I said, right? Yeah, uh, October, October 6th. 6th. Yeah. October 6th. So I got a while. Yep. To fill in my time. Yeah. All right. That is also a movie that uh, Matt is excited for, even though he's not here. Um, see, I'm still talking about him. We talk about him. We love you, um, Matt. <laughs> yeah, we love you, Matt. We miss you. You're here in spirit. I hope that food um, is worth it. Like good mac and cheese for dinner right now or something. Yeah. yeah. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. With mac and cheese. Ooh. Yeah. Um, Cut up. So my next one, which may ruin another one of Sean's movies, is Imaginary. Never heard of it. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. <laughs> Me either. Uh, it is a <laughs> new movie that's coming out. It's a horror movie about imaginary friends, but what if they were not good? Oh, here it is. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've shown you the trailer, I think. You show me a lot of things. Yeah, I know, and you don't. Remember. Yeah, and you don't pay attention. Anyway. <laughs> um, but, but it looks like a good movie. The cast looks like they do a good job, and I'm hoping <laughs> for maybe a couple of jump scares. It just remind like the the way it looks reminds me of the Babadook, which was <laughs> really good to a certain point. <laughs> and that movie was a movie where. Sean's wife called me a pussy and then jumped into his lap because she got jump scared. It was pretty funny. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. All right. So back to. <sighs> Don't bite me. I'm just uh, yawning. My next one is just like Josh's, but it's imaginary friends or if. With Ryan Reynolds. And it's a girl embarks on a magical adventure to reconnect forgotten imaginary friends with their kids. It looks really good. It would yes. have been on my list, but I knew somebody would have it, so I decided not to put it on there. <laughs> I only put it on my list because Adam stole my list. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> How dare you, Adam? <laughs> I, I just had to take a peek at his screen. I'm sorry. Yeah. I guess that's little, what I get for sharing. I'm nervous. Looks yeah. good. No, it it's does. Ryan Reynolds. It does. Exactly. Anything Ryan I Reynolds, mean, it, like I said. yeah, it's going to be another Ryan Reynolds type movie. That's just expected. Yep. But yeah. All right. Well, now it is time for Adam. Uh, I think this one might be my most anticipated horror for this year, possibly. Um, especially if they do them all three right, is The Strangers Chapter 1. I know it's kind of risky with them going back and, and doing all three of them again. But I feel like if they do it right, it's going to be good. Because this movie genuinely gave me fear whenever I watched it for the first time. Um... But, of course, it's starting off normally. Just the young couple drives across country with the new beginning. Unfortunately, I have no choice but to stop at an Airbnb. Um, and then they endure a night of terror against three masked strangers. Um, other than drowning, I think somebody stalking me is probably in one of the biggest fears I have. It would just be a good slasher movie. So. Yep. Yeah, the first or the first two movies were really good. Yeah. Um, I watched them with Sean. Uh, yep. I liked them a lot. I'm excited for that one too, but I didn't know what it was about. Um, I would be scared of stalking, but Brand stalks me all the time. So, <laughs> you know. I don't stalk you. I, know, I just, just follow you very close. Yeah. Very closely. Uh, yeah. Your next movie. My next one comes out. 
December 18th, which I had no idea was coming out this early, but it's Avatar 3. And I hope it's better than the second one, is all I'm going to say. Because if I talk yeah, about putting... the second one, we should just talk Real about good. the third one. We'll be... We should just talk about the upcoming Avatar movie. There was not enough action in Avatar mm-hmm. two. 2 for her. Yeah, I still there thought was it was good, of, though. Like, no, it was a good movie. It was a good movie. I just felt like they there were parts of the story that they could Bye. have explained better. Um, instead of having a ten minutes like wait like look at this whale for ten minutes, they could have done it for like five minutes and still shown how beautiful everything looked and explained the story better. Is what I wish they could have done. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I totally get you. When she I was like watch, movie. when she was watching the movie, that was not her opinion. She very <laughs> much did not like the movie. There was a lot of peace I'd... and love, and I was hoping for a little bit more war and aggression, like the first one. But I understand that not everything could be like that. But that's All just I haven't even seen the second one because so. I did not like the first one. Yeah, yeah. she wanted. I think I think between that and Napoleon Dynamite, I think people <laughs> overhyped them. So I was going in with this like huge expectations of the movie to be really good and it just did not hit yeah so now i have the correct momentum going into avatar 3 so yes you know it, it only took 10 years between the first one and the second one <laughs> now we're gonna do it in a year that's why this one's I, be good. I was so surprised this one's be, well the reason so early it was coming out <laughs> the reason why is because they filmed three four five at the same yeah. time so that's yeah. that's the reason like he's these are his last movies these are james cameron's last movies that he's doing because he's old so um not yeah. my problem just kidding yeah the <laughs> next <laughs> the just next kidding. uh get young the next movie looks like or not looks i haven't seen anything for it but from what i heard it's gonna be more warlike because they're gonna run into a tribe that's all about war so yeah should be should be cool all right uh my next one is ghostbusters the frozen something yeah frozen thrones empire empire yeah there you go emperor emperor yeah emperor i i know a lot of people (laughs) i know a lot of people did not like the last uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought the Paul movie Rudd, was baby. Little, yeah, I thought the movie was a lot of fun. Paul Rudd was really good. The kids that played in it were really good, and just overall, it was a very fun movie, in my opinion. Even though I know a lot of people did not like it, I bought a figurine of one of the little marshmallows. Yeah, from that Stay movie. Puff Marshmallow Man. Yeah, yeah, it the was, tiny ones. It was a good movie. I liked it. Definitely excited. Another one that I showed to my son, and he's really excited to see the second one. Yeah, that would be cool to take. I'm not a bad dad. I know he's five. (laughs) I'm a good dad. Yeah. All right. He just likes movies. (laughs) Yeah. PG 13 is just a suggestion. That's true. I mean, yeah. I remember watching Romeo and Juliet when I was in elementary school, and they showed boobs and butt because it was a PG movie, but it was not. My root. I remember watching Child's Play when I was five. I know times are different now, but <laughs> he's still a good dad, guys. Okay, yeah, he's still a good, good dad. dad. Um, now back to the good dad. You got another one? Uh, I don't know if it's going to come out this year. It says it is, and it says September six, but Beetlejuice two. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm pretty sure that one's coming out this year. It it should. Like Beetlejuice, like Tim Burton, you know, hopefully, you know, you know, 30 years between two movies is kind of crazy, but yeah, same cast (laughs) or whatever it's been. Yeah. Everyone except for no. Yeah. Same cast. Yeah. I'm pretty sure everybody's coming back for it and um what's her name from wednesday jenna ortega yeah is playing the daughter of um the main character from the first one yeah 
it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, is it Renona or Winona? It's a W. I think it's W-I. So Winona. Winona, yeah. It's crazy that she, like, disappeared from acting, like, for a little bit and it just showed up, you know, again Stranger and started Things doing a bunch of stuff. Up, I think. Yeah. Like, seriously. And I love Stranger Things. It was a good show. Yeah, me too. Um, was it? Is it next year? The yeah, next, uh, yeah. I think they're series finale. Yeah. No, I think they have two seasons left. Oh, huh. I How think it's they? five and six that they still have to do. It may just be five. I'm not. I'm not very sure. I'm interested to see if any of the rumors are true, or not rumors, but any of the theories are true about it. So that'll be next time. Yeah, just like this time, Adam. <laughs> Um, this is going to be my last one out of the, the couple I had. Um, but Spider Man Beyond the Spider Verse, um, with the way the last one ended, I'm excited. Um, who doesn't like Spider Man? <laughs> I have to agree with you that the way it ended, I was very, very upset. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I didn't dislike it. I thought the movie was so good. And then oh, we got to perfect. the ending, and I'm like, yeah. Why did you do this? <laughs> why did you leave it like this? Like, why? What is going on here? But I get it. Yep. So I need this one to make me feel better. That's that's why it's on my list. Will it make you feel better though? I hope it. Does. If it ends right, yeah. <laughs> that's a that's the thing that I'm worried about. I don't know if it's gonna end nicely. They actually um, they actually talk about um. Uh, the bad guy from that one uh what was his name the one spider-man with the claws oh uh prowler no not no, prowler no. um i don't remember his name but i can't remember the, yeah he they talk about him in spider-man 2 oh okay because you collect you collect spider bots and at the end of the spider bots thing it's like a side thing and the person that you give the spider bots to is like, well, you can tell him you can find his spider bots with me. So you're oh. being watched by that character apparently in this universe. In Mar in a second Spider Man you or whatever. Sweet. In the game. Yeah, in the game. Are you talking about the the twenty ninety nine Spider Man? Maybe. I don't remember his name. I don't either. I'm totally a gamer. You're a gamer slash movie critic. Yeah, movie but critic. But that gamer. didn't even come up <laughs> in the movies. Yeah. And, um. So. Yeah. You got another movie? I got two more. You got two more. Thank Dang. goodness I picked the ones I did because y'all had a lot of movies that I want to watch too. Ooh. Wow. Um. Oh, another one is Ready Player Two. It's unconfirmed release, mm -hmm. but it's suspect suspected to come out in 2024 at some point. I'm about to walk out of this did room. Not know that. I'm about to walk out of this room. Okay. Like, what did I say? No, not you. Just that they're making a Ready Player Two. Ugh. You didn't like Ready Player uh, One. I read the book of Ready Player One. Okay. And no, I did not like the movie Ready Player One because it did not follow. He really did not. So I think Josh <laughs> should be a professional bookie. <laughs> Because boogie? All, <laughs> because professional boogie. A lot of these things we're talking about. He's like, well, I read the book. I read the book. I read the books. You know, when I read the books, it went like this. <laughs> you know, sometimes I don't care. It's fine if the thing's not like the book. I enjoy Ready Player One more than I did when I first watched it. When I first watched it, I had just finished the book. And yes, I was upset that it was so much different, but I appreciate it for what it is now. What I don't like is I listened to a little bit of Ready Player Two and then read the synopsis for it, and I do not like where that story went. Because it's almost like they totally reverted the character back to what he was with all the things he did in the first book. So... I just don't know what Ready Player Two is going to be. Like, if they make it a continuation of the last movie and not try and make it the book, then yeah, it will probably be fun. But I just don't know what they're going to do with it when I was so 
thoroughly disappointed with the book. Yeah, I get you. That's a con- that's a very valid concern. But um, they are making it. Yeah, so Ooh, it I might will come out this year. I will watch it because you will want to go watch it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> My son liked that movie too. Yeah. So good. that means it was entertaining because it, it had because it had Chucky in it, and <laughs> I, I didn't show I did not show him Chucky, but he'd been watching a lot of Halloween animatronics, and so he uh, knew who that was. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, Dad, Chucky. I'm like, yes, 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 it is. <laughs> yeah. So basically, that will probably end up being a movie. If we don't go see in theaters, we will end up watching with Adam and Sean and you and me. Yes. So. Yeah. All right. So this is my technical last one. Um, Argyle. Oh, yeah. Argyle looked really good at first i thought it was going to be with uh henry cavill Mm -hmm. because they show him a lot in the uh in the uh move in the trailer but the other character who plays the assassin that gets her at the beginning or whatever because she's like a writer and she's writing about assassins and spies and stuff like that and apparently all of it's real so they're trying to like kill her and the guy who saves her is an actor that I've seen in a lot of movies, and he's very funny. So I'm very excited to see what that movie's going to be. And if <coughs> Henry Cavill actually is in it, or if it's just like a, like, he shows up in like one scene for five minutes. Cool. I've not heard of it. But yeah. I've seen sounds... the trailer for it. It looks interesting. I'll show you the trailer later. Uh, everybody and you guys can decide. Professional movie goers. Right. Professional movie goers. Yep. Yep. Professional popcorn eater. Yep. All right. So who still got movies left? I got one more. I do not have. I got. I can throw all of them out at once. Okay. What so you... animated wise, Kung Fu Panda Four. Okay. No. Love the Kung Fu Pandas. Uh, another one with Chris Pratt is Garfield. Of course. <laughs> Which looks really good. And Despicable Me 4 is supposed to come out this year around July 4th, like they always do. I just watched the trailer for that, and it looks funny. Yes. <laughs> um, horror movies would be... <laughs> yes. Ter- ter- <laughs> Terrifier 3? Or is it 4? 3? Oh, we still gotta watch the first so two. Horror. We still gotta, I don't we gotta know. watch those. And then the second Winnie the Pooh, because the first one was so good. It was terrible. What do you mean it was good? It was good? so the, good. The it was amazing. It was a 10. It was a 10. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was not a 10. There's, and, there's yeah. Quiet Place Part 1, or Day 1. Yeah, I don't know what that's going to be. We still got to watch Quiet Place Part 2. Yeah. And then... For pre or for a second movie, there's Gladiator Two because there's absolutely no reason that there shouldn't be a second one. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Because it makes it makes perfect sense for a second one to come out. You know? Exactly. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna spoil that, but there's a reason why there should not be a second one. But yeah, sure. Well, you, no, no, there there should be an absolute second one. No. Uh, yeah, sure. Venom Three, which is supposed to be coming out uh, November of this year, which I hope it does because. I like Venom. Yeah. No, it was surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be. For as much crap as people talked about it, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then Everybody then talked King... crap about it. Yeah. And then Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Nice. Mm-hmm. All right. I didn't know how many for, Planet of the for Apes my five. movies there were. Until... 13. Yeah, there's a lot of them. <laughs> until I looked it up today when I saw it on the list. Yeah, I watched all the original movies. Um, but I have not watched all the, I haven't watched the Mark, I even watched the Mark Wahlberg movie, but I haven't watched the newest ones that came out after that. You should. Yes. They're really good. I may do that while I'm on vacation this week. One of right. the movies has an ape on riding a horse. Yeah. That would be a good one for you to That's... watch. They had that in the original with Charlie Heston. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just saying. They did it again. Yeah, I. But he's know. got guns. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, guns make everything sure. better. 
ape with an assault with rifle. An ape with an AK on a horse. Yeah, that's um, like they a did great that movie. in the original one. I know. Mr. Mayor. Yeah, but this is like the new version <laughs> of the AK. Like okay. they didn't have this one back in the day. Okay. And this horse, this is like a special breed. <laughs> yeah. That oh, they didn't so have it's back new. in the old one. It's new and fresh. This is yeah, like a 2020. It's yeah, it's new. And horse. Fresh. I totally yeah. get you. Yeah. Um, but they didn't have any ideas of what they were, you know, they didn't steal from the old movies at all. This yeah. is fresh new ideas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With yeah. An ape on a horse <laughs> with an AK. Yeah, no, <laughs> for sure. Bad. No, I don't know. Nobody. Uh, Adam, do you have any more I do movies? Not, no. Okay. What's your last one? My last one is Shang-Chi 2, which is also an unconfirmed release, but it's about time for them to put yeah. it out. So I think they will. I I agree with that one. Um, or after Venom gets released, I'm hoping this one will get released. So Venom is Sony for sure, while um Shang Chi is Marvel. I know. So it will be separate. Yeah. It will be they may get a Marvel director because that's kind of what Sony's thing has been is they've been doing Marvel directors, Sony whatever i know but marvel always releases a movie in december yeah typically i'm pretty sure like 99 percent sure they always release a movie in december so if venom comes out if the, that studio releases venom then hopefully they'll release this one after a different month yeah to avoid the competition yeah uh they gotta make eternals too first i can tell you a movie they're not gonna release <laughs> and that's an ant man three <laughs> or four because that movie did not do well, apparently. I haven't really been into Marvel movies since after the first Eternal movie, which was incredible. And then the ones after that... Incredibly garbage. ...didn't even look good, you know? They had nothing going for them. But I did like Eternals. I did not. So I will probably they watch They haven't the had anything one. since, like, Endgame. <laughs> Bro, Endgame will always be one of the best Marvel and movies. That's... That's that. You can't top that. You can only go downhill from there, unfortunately. Yeah, so no. So have to build themselves back up. Yeah, we'll see if they can. But um, I don't know. Shang Chi two should be good. Yeah, yeah. And it will be. I like banned. Aquafina. And it will be banned from name? China, like the last time. <laughs> yeah, for some reason. Oh, because. Oh, yeah. there's plenty of reasons. The the reason and the reason the last one supposedly was because the main actor's father or mother was like a was a protester in China and that's why they banned it or something they, like that. They banned Abominable there, which was a story about a girl that plays a violin and meets the Abominable Snowman, mm -hmm. because they show a map of the Chinese Sea and the lines are wrong. Oh, so they banned it. Wow. So they will ban it for anything. Yeah. Well, that's okay. I mean, I'm not in China, so yeah. I don't have to worry about. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it being banned. Yeah. So. Yeah. So that's my last one. Okay. I have one more. I don't know. It's, it says it's coming out in 2024, and it's kind of a hybrid for both. What is it? Would be Borderlands. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. That, that one. Good. That one. I'm interested to see what it is when it Me comes too. out and what they're gonna do. I but think, yeah, I think there is. I'm excited. Um, I think they're making Monster Hunter Two okay. supposed to be coming out this year. I yeah, hope I not, but I hope not. But I'm sure Sean's gonna love it because but it's by his favorite it. director. We're gonna watch it anyway. Yeah, I know. I never saw the first one. Um, yeah, well, you should have because it's by the director that does all your favorite movies, Resident Evil, and with the same actress. Yeah, literally copy and paste but it's not zombies no it's monster hunter which i know you love monster hunter so much i do oh, love isn't the, is that game supposed to come out this year or 2025 2025 is when uh wildlands comes out or whatever wilds wilds yeah sorry i don't know why i said wildlands um ghost recon baby yeah That's why. Game. yeah it was it was a game <laughs> <laughs> hey, once again, gamer. I played that more from the multiplayer. The, I mean, the campaign was all right. But the multiplayer I just can't well. remember which one it was because there's two of them, and I don't remember which one I played with Sean. But I played one. <clears throat> oh, I played a lot of one with Sean. Like we played Wildlands. Was, was that that the one? Car, 
We oh, barely play, played Breakpoint or whatever that one was. Breakpoint yeah. was trash. Yeah, so I played all of that. So I have some honorable mentions for movies too, which I will go through real quick. Uh, Miller's Girl, which also I think has Jenna Ortega. Look good. I showed Sean a trailer for it. It's going to be probably a dark yeah. drama is probably what it's going to be. Um, Orion. I must, I've must been playing games when he showed me that. <laughs> Maybe. Orion and the Dark, which is going to be on Netflix, which looks like a uh, comedy about a kid who's afraid of the dark, but the dark like comes and becomes his friend and they go on an adventure. Uh, Spaceman, which is with uh, Adam Sandler. I love Adam Sandler movies and I will not apologize. Um, and then Roadhouse with Jake Gyllenhaal. I kind of <laughs> just want to see if he can pull off Patrick Swayze's Roadhouse, but Roadhouse. in a newer um, aspect. I don't think so, but we'll see. I mean, he is an actual like MMA fighter from what I hear. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Makes me think of Family Guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't. I didn't watch that Family Guy episode, but it's a couple of episodes. He like kicks some people in the face. Peter does, and he goes Roadhouse. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember that. Okay, so I know not everybody's gonna have an anime. I have a couple. Who else actually has an anime that they wanna? I have two. Okay, two. I have one. I'm not really big in the anime, of course, but I do have one. Okay. I have I have one. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys go. We'll do Waffle, then Adam, then Bran like we've been doing. So, Waffle, tell us your anime that you're excited for. I was totally fucking with you. I was just going to, you know, your favorite Super Lover Season 5. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I have no animes. I'm that not going to lie. That has been a joke since we lived together. It's not a joke. I, it is, I've never watched Super Lover for the last time. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um Yeah. Go ahead, Adam. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really started actually just watching I I started getting into anime, I guess you could say last year a little bit. Um <coughs> Waz actually got me into it. But uh um this one kinda drew my attention out of out of uh, the majority of them. Um it's called Ninja Kumai or Ninja Kamui. I'm not sure if okay. I'm saying that right. Um, but I'll kind of read you a little description. And it says, A former ninja who escaped his clan and is hiding from his violent past in rural America with his family. One night he is ambushed by a team of assassins from his former organization who exacts a bloody re retribution on Joe and his family. So um, Sounds good. It does sound really good. Um, I've kind of read a couple books. Um I'm not even like a really book reader any anyway, but um, there was a couple books I'd read that seemed similar to this, um, so I think it, it seemed interesting to me. I'm I'm probably gonna give it a watch this year. So nice, yeah, and I'm probably gonna get you to watch solo leveling at some point. So okay, look forward to that one. Heck yeah. Um, go ahead, Bran. Which Adam stole one of yours too. So now you and Waffle no, got some stolen. It looks so <laughs> good. It does. Ninja, it looks so good. It's released on February 10th. The yeah. first episode okay. comes out on February 10th. Um, yeah. Well. Then, so that's going to be cool. I want to watch that one. And then the second one. So I'm a little... I'm having trouble because I'm a professional anime watcher. And I know so little about it. <laughs> <laughs> the flavor of this podcast. <laughs> So I couldn't figure out if it was just animated or if it's going to be an anime style, but it's the Lord of the Rings, um, the War of Ro... It's an animated movie. Roharim? Okay, so it's not yeah. an actual anime. No, it's it, it's a movie, so it's an anime. It's oh. an anime movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Animation. If it's on Annie Chart or one of the other anime... Then, yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, then that counts as my second one. But the War of Roharim, or Ro Roharim, I don't know how to say it, is supposed to be about the War of Helm's Deep from the um from the Lord of the Rings universe, and uh, 
it's just supposed to go into detail with like some really old characters and what happened at Helm's Deep and stuff like that. That's not what it's. That's not. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. I read about it. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a different battle of Helm's Deep, but it's. What do you mean? Like it's Ro the Rohin fighting their old enemy from. I don't think it's like from the movies. It's not from the movie. Yeah. I know it's, it's not before the movies. Yeah, yeah, I know. yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't just again. I'm a pro anime watcher. Yeah. So I didn't describe it correctly. And don't listen. <laughs> don't listen to Adam, whoever listens to this. He's a pro anime watcher too. He watched the live action of One Piece, so it, it he's was, got this. It was amazing. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> I, yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Wow. Yeah. Oh. It's my. Those are my two picks of anime for 2024. But I don't know when Lord of the Rings is supposed to come out. Yeah. So, for sure, this year. I just... Don't know when, yeah. I just don't know when, so... Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I have four. Um, the first one would be the season three of I Got Reincarnated as a Slime, which I still need to finish the second season, but I know season three is going to be good. I read almost all of the light novels of... I got reincarnated as a slime, so that I'm very interested to see how it's going to go. Demon Slayer Season 4. Uh, I still need to finish Season 3, but I plan to do that this year and watch what Season 4 when it comes out. <laughs> I'm watching anime, okay? I am watching stuff right now. <laughs> um, Me too. My Hero Academia Season 7 is coming out. I have to finish Season 5 and 6, but this won't be great. <laughs> I have to... <laughs> I have to finish seasons more than five and six, but I read the light or not the light novels, the mangas. One through six. So um, one through six. <laughs> no, I've watched I've watched up to season six, I think, or five. Um, oh, so and then one that's new that's coming out is a story about grandpa and grandma returning to their youth. I don't know if that's the actual title, but that's what the story is about, and it looks like it's going to be a cute story about two people who are in love that get to relive their younger years. So it's going to be very interesting. Um but yeah. That's that's my that's my stuff. So uh we didn't really ask at the beginning of the podcast, we probably should have, but I didn't. Uh what's everybody doing right now? Like what what are you guys playing? Let's start with John. Go ahead, Waffle. Uh, Pals World. And how's that going? Loving it. And is it a Pokemon ripoff? It is absolutely not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Has nothing to do with Pokemon. If anybody wants to complain about that, you can find him at Waffle Man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I'm find nothing at Waffle Man. Yeah, he's done. And then, that. you know, the usual stuff. My Hunt Showdown pretty much what i've been playing yeah you. i'm a pro gamer so that's i just right. stick to one game i mean yeah that's how you do it one at a time yep pro gamers um adam uh right now i'm in between about three or four games at the at the moment um <laughs> tarkov is probably at the top escape from tarkov super super sweaty and addictive but um also rocket league me and my buddies trying to get the champ actually already hit champ this actually hit that today i do have to job. say so that yeah, that was a job. little bit of a, an accomplishment um lethal company and uh we're streaming that trying to get into a streaming schedule with that with everybody and then um the last one is probably marauders that one uh basically like tarkov but like a little bit easier nice yeah uh definitely love lethal company been playing that we got sean to play last night which he had no idea what was going on <laughs> not a fucking Ho clue hopefully we can get him in with a smaller group so that we can right. show him what's actually going on i agree um and yeah if you guys uh watch uh adam bomsky um you can find him on twitch he also has a tiktok which has some funny 
um, videos on it and are going to have more. And then, uh, yeah, what about you? Um, oh, I've been playing lots of Lethal Company. And um, still been playing a little bit of For the King 2 with a couple people. Um, haven't finished the story quite yet, but I never do. Um, and then, oh yeah, I started Spider-Man. Started the Spider-Man series on PlayStation. PlayStation. <laughs> so, um, oh, and I also just recently started Assassin's Creed Mirage, and I'm like about five hours in on that one, and it's fabulous. Um, I will probably beat zero of those games, like I have all my other games that have come before, and it's delightful. All right, and I am playing uh, Spider-Man 2, which has been excellent. I'm probably going to try and finish it in the next couple days here. Um, I am also playing Dave the Diver, which is a excellent game. And if you like chill games about catching fish and running a sushi restaurant, definitely up your alley and you should play it. Uh, I also am playing Resident Evil 4, which I haven't touched in a little bit, but I need to get back to it. And also, um, the new Prince of Persia, which I plan to start playing again because Persona 3 comes out soon and I'm pretty sure I'm going to record that. And yeah, so I need Prince of Persia done before I do that. But you can find me at Tired Sandwich and I have YouTube and a twitter so if you do want to send any uh messages that you know about waffles shenanigans you can send them to me and i'll give them to him but yeah so how do you guys feel about this first thing it was awesome that was fun that was fun okay. Good. well now it's gonna be less fun because i have some we're gonna go to the news <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Suicide Squad is one of the first ones that I looked up. Um, apparently, uh, they are going to have a battle pass with the new Suicide Squad, which I don't know how I feel, and the game's first new playable character is going to be the Joker. They're saying that even though there's a battle pass, it's not going to change anything with the game, and that it's not... They're going to try and make the game where it's fun, even if you don't get it. And you can play it solo, or Suicide Squad solo, which I'm sure all of you have heard the controversy over Suicide Squad and how it did not look up to par with what people wanted. But that is, uh, that's what's going on with that studio. I don't really know how that game's going to be. Any of you excited about Suicide Squad? No. I'm not. I haven't. I haven't seen a whole lot about it, but I'm not really excited about it. Well, guess who gets to play it, even though he doesn't want to, when it comes out. Uh, Sean Silver. <laughs> Sean gets to play it when it comes out. And well, some point during the year, me and him will play it. I'll probably have to get it for him, but I will make him play it. Why you want to play it? I want to see it. I want to see what it is. For sure. So the, the article I read was from Kotaku, which, yeah. I love the comment under the, the news headline, Rocksteady doesn't want players to feel like playing Suicide Squad is a second job. Yeah. <laughs> That's the name of the article, and it's by Zach Zwinzen. I don't know how to say that. Zach Zwiezen. Zwiezen. Yeah. Uh, my other one would be uh, Microsoft cancels Bliz Blizzard survival game amid layoffs. So I don't know if you heard, but Microsoft has laid off 2,000 employees, which is terrible. My heart goes out to them. I hope they find other jobs because it really sucks that uh, Microsoft just bought a bunch of studios and then now they're laying people off. Um. But apparently this game was called or codenamed Odyssey, and it was going to be their their survival game, Blizzard's new survival game. But when Microsoft bought them, they decided uh, they were going to go in a different direction. So 
I just wanted to bring that up because it does suck. And everybody who was working on it, I really hope that you find new, um, yeah, new studio, stuff to work on. Whatever studios they bought, yeah, whatever those studios were working on is probably well. Pause for the moment. Well, it's a bunch of studios. So Activision, Blizzard, Zenimax, and Xbox. Between those three studios, they have um, gotten rid of two thousand jobs. So it just it sucks. But so I hope them the best. Whatever people were looking forward to to come out of those studios probably isn't going to happen. Yeah, which kind of sucks. And you other two are totally quiet it's okay guys i get it <laughs> i mean the only pro gamers here pro gamers the only pro survival gamers. game i need is minecraft so i'll be okay you can always go back to minecraft that's the <laughs> game that you just like anybody can just fall back on nope so yep. until nope. They pass <laughs> pass hard pass big pass i can yeah that's great you can play minecraft okay moving on to the next one i feel like you guys are just saying that because we suck at minecraft yeah no i'm saying it because when i played minecraft there was nothing in minecraft it was literally just a sandbox world there was no nothing you just built stuff when i played minecraft and i don't really care to go back to it but you can defeat so many things now exactly it's fun. My son downloaded it. Oh. And how do you like it? How does that make you he feel? He absolutely hated it. Oh, <laughs> really? I'm proud of him. He hated it. <laughs> Apparently, sure. kids at his school's talking about it, and you know, it's on Game Pass. I was like, "Go ahead, dude. I don't care." And he goes, "Dad, this game's stupid." And I was like, "That's my boy. <laughs> I knew it." For if you do like Minecraft, I don't actually hate Minecraft. Yeah. Like is. you can like it. Yeah. I, it I played. Legends. He hates it as much as he loves super lovers. Like what? Apex? No, Minecraft. Whatever the one that you have, Legends or whatever it is. One on the Switch. Dungeons. Dungeons. There we go. Yeah, I played that one. Uh, Yeah, that thing. Um, Too. I still haven't beat that game. So here's one. This is the last one I'm going to talk about, and it's super freaking hilarious. So. The day before is no more is what the article, well, as the server shut down, the day before is no more. So as of January 22nd, the day before servers were switched off. So that means that game that people were super excited about and wanted to play. Lasted a month. That, yeah, that ended up being not what it was (coughs) supposed to. Lasted a month and then they shut the servers off. That is terrible. For the people that really wanted to play it, which included myself and Sean, and hilarious at the same time because that studio tried to pull a fast one and it didn't work. So, yeah. yeah uh, the, the day before it was released, they switched all their videos to the what the game actually was going to be instead of an open world survival post apocalyptic game. Yeah. No, it's shady. Yeah, it was it was a lot of shady. But uh yeah, yeah so that's it for the news. Um I'm probably going to do a couple <coughs> of news articles every so like at the end of this when we end just so that people who don't know can know more about what's going on. But this is the All end right. of our first podcast. Now to politics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pass on that. <laughs> I'm never. Yeah, we don't want to hear about <laughs> politics. That's just no. Um, but yeah, you guys want to all say goodbye in your own special way. Go ahead, take it off, waffle. Bye. <laughs> no, you're supposed to take it off. <laughs> it's Adam. been off. That's why the camera's not on. Adam. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks for listening. Goodbye, everybody. And like I said. You can find me at Tired Sandwich. You can find Adam at Adam Bomsky, which is A D A M B O M B S K I. Um, yeah. Thank you guys. And as always, Sean. Yeah. You're supposed to say fuck off. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. I was going to be like, follow, subscribe, and fuck off. But he just wants to fuck off. Oh, follow, subscribe, and...
fuck off. Yeah, there you go. In that order? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. It's still...